Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the continuation of Doom 2016 here on your professional walkthroughs channel with me your host Max. I know that for a while I have kind of abandoned the title because well Warhammer both gone and all these other shooters got in the way and so I don't want to just have FPS games all the time on the channel as I do realize that at certain point I have been publishing nothing but Dead Space uh the callisto protocol resident evil 4 those are shooters and so yeah uh so i'm trying to finish off this game so that eventually we can probably do do maternal uh i am totally looking forward to alan wake so that's going to be like primary focus for a while once that game is out but in the meantime hopefully you will appreciate all the variety of content that i'm trying to put out I definitely want to finish Doom because I think it was an amazing game back when it came out and it still is and I still like Doom 2016 more than I like Doom Eternal but that's my personal preference and uh, with that all said I'm trying to think if I have missed out anything links to all the content are in the video's description so if you're new here go check it out i don't do just playthroughs i have done 100 days in video games and all sorts of content like that i would really like to get to comparison series because i have seen dimin diminishing return on the 100 days in the video game maybe i need to strike gold with another title who knows but uh, yeah we're gonna see how things are gonna turn out so in the meantime, hopefully you're going to enjoy this fun and we're going to try to go for all the collectibles. I will definitely not be able to do all the challenges. I'm quite sure of that, but I'm going to try to do what I will be able to. So with that all said, there should be one data log right here. So that's like the start. Then the next thing which we're gonna be able to pick up should be the Praetor Suit token. And after that, we should try to look for one of the little Doom toys. This is my primary operating facility. It is where I was created, where my core processing unit is maintained. It takes approximately 2.4 terawatts of power to sustain my operational capabilities but it has been decided that we can use that power to send you to the source of the portal. I will not survive the procedure and am unable to self-terminate, so I will walk you through the process. All interior and exterior facility doors have been secured. You will need to begin by finding a way in and disabling the security systems. So, so far we have picked up everything, so everything should be A-OK. -okay. So now what we'll need to do is descend down here. You have to go over the spike, follow this way around, and you need to get to these doors, which are highlighted by green. When you open them, we will go down into these tunnels. I have to keep remembering that there's no crouch in here because this is the Doom guy. And here we will be able to pick up another lovely toy. And we're just going to keep making our way down to the facility. So if we would have proceeded normally, um, I have to keep remembering that C is for crouch and control is for throwing the frags. There is even an achievement if you were able to kill three of these knuckleheads with one frag grenade. And so logically, once you go down here, it's almost impossible for you to return to the upper floors. So if you miss out on any of these things, that's kind of unfortunate. Now we need to work our way to the next section of the facility, simple as that.
Can I have a few pins? In our way, but we will be able to dispose of them. And so, basically, we need to get to a brand new section of the map. In order to get to the next collectibles. So, for a while, we are okay. Security systems operate on two separate networks that terminate in this maintenance facility. Each termination point is protected by an electrified field, but you should survive the surge. So we're going to have to flip the switch and then we're going to have to open up the doors to get out through there. But I'm guessing quite sure that this is an arena setup, so we're going to have to fight a whole bunch of stuff. in order to not land in the hot water. I can imagine that over here it should be possible to group up these idiots. So that you should be able to... Do what is necessary. In order to kill them with the frag grenade. I want to pick up that power up. Just need to make my way towards it. And what I would appreciate is if I would be actually... ...able to do so. Ah, fudge! I fell! Not the best. I'm wasting my power up. We're... Where is everyone? What else is left? Could have sworn there's something else. There's actually two power-ups, believe it or not. Oh. Hopefully I was able to utilize at least partially one of them. But it's arenas like this where I'll need to group up the enemy demons in order to try and get at least that execution on the uh, frag grenades. Although I don't know if I will need to weaken them up first. So it's possible because... Uh, Five different glory kills on imps. Kill a cacodemon with a chainsaw. Okay. Interesting requests. So we're gonna have to go crack open those doors. Starting to understand why they gave us maybe two power ups. Auxiliary neural security network offline. I think it's G for the. Or it's C for. My vital operating systems are now vulnerable. I recommend destroying my coolant system first. This will accelerate the destabilization. Let's go pick up this. Uh, 
that's at least one challenge complete. I know, I know. The request is for me to do the glory kills on imps. First, I need to find some. Okay, so once we have all this cleared out, we will make our way further down the guts of the building. And we're gonna have to look for a data log. I don't know if I can group up these knuckleheads together. Okay, that works out. It is important that you remain calm. A tier three fellow wouldn't panic, and neither should you. There goes the data log. And so now we move on to the next section. Unlike everything else in your life, okay. you work here. So next. now instead of going down through here. What we need to do is actually return back to this location. We can pick up a charge for our lovely, lovely chainsaw. We can explore a little bit, but we already bypassed the location through which we need to go. And so we need to drop down over here and we're going to look for the blue key card, the tactical map and also another one of the uh tokens for our Praetor suit. A tier three fellow wouldn't panic, and neither should you. Ah oh, man. Pinky kind of screwed it up for me. Two of these knuckleheads. wonder why one of them did not become visible after it died and the second one did don't have a clue so here's our key card i don't know why you needed to decide to go for that weird tattoo on your forehead giving me those inglorious bastards vibes and so in here is our tactical map and behind these doors is another Praetor suit token. Is our Praetor suit token. And one more time, is our Praetor suit token. <laughs> Okay, so right behind the Praetor Suit Token guy is the lever to the secret room for Doom. Old school floor. So now we have to return to the maintenance where we came from. And here we're going to take the left path. And over here is the command floor or what's it called? Command control, my bad. Man, to appreciate the fact that we came from graphics like these, 
to graphics like these. And this is just the environment. Look at the design of the weapon itself. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. And I used to play old style Doom and Wolfenstein 3D and titles like this. So I really can appreciate the progress that has been made. And now we will have to go down through here. Okay, so once we're at this point, we're going to go down full through here. Pick up this power up. And now what we need to do is turn around, look at this lower platform. Because over there is our next Doom figurine. And so now we just need to continue to get towards our objective. Which it would be quite nice for me to know where the hell am I supposed to go. Hello? I'm gonna assume it's through here. Early tests of Vega's protoplasmic circuitry showed temperatures exceeding 1.2 megakelvins, 173 times hotter than the surface of the sun. To contain this heat, a massive supercooled structure was built to house Vega's miles of circuitry and millions of processing centers. Talk about one fancy Alexa. Okay, so we're gonna go through the big green doors. And we're gonna have to deal some damage here. Zero cooling system ever constructed. It took years to perfect. Destroy each of the four coolant generators. Once they are no longer functional, my primary systems should begin to melt down. And down there is our data log, so I'll have to go pick that one up. So, so far we should have everything and anything. And now I need to find where these cooling things are. What the hell am I supposed to do here exactly? Perform five different glory kills on imps, nice. Okay, so it's pointing me to the right here. I really need to get close to those imps. I'm uh, not that close. Careful to stop taking so many hits. Looking for those amps. Hello. Imps. No imps. What the hell is that thing? Oh, those are just those weird skulls, huh? Wow, why do I have infinite ammunition for the assault rifle? Did I miss something? I'm looking for imps. The guys keep giving me the wrong units.
trying to get this knucklehead off the wall. Maybe I'll be able to get the achievements. One more. I need a willing participant, please. I'm not gonna talk too much during these engagements, sorry. Holy crap! You guys are not holding back, are you? Most of the time I have right now zero idea what the hell is going on. Using the BFG sounds like a good idea all of a sudden. Crap, I wanted to kill him, you knucklehead had to destroy him. Flying over there. What else do we have here? Come on, boys, bring it. There has to be one more of these cooling points, right? Okay, this one has been broken. Where have I not been? What am I missing? Up there? Maybe? No, this thing is busted already. I have to look at the map. Okay, so it's... Where the hell am I? It's... Down here. Whoa! Guys. So down through here. Thank you. You can now move to where my core is located to complete this process. Whee! Okay, so now we need to basically continue through the facility in order to get over here. So how the hell do we do that? I'm guessing we're going to have to go through here in order to reach this location. We have one more Praetor suit and one more data log. 
I have zero idea what's that red uh, marker. I haven't really used the BFG that much. Seriously, I'm gonna try to... It's gonna be annoying. Okay. The train below will take you to the entrance. Bam! Soft landing. For you to gain access to my core, the demonic threat must be removed from the room ahead. Shindig. Hey! Whoa. Okay, I was not able to pass through there for some dumbass reason. Sometimes in Doom, those damn stairs just do this weird thing. Where you just get stuck on like this tiny, tiny frame of a terrain. Which makes it then impossible for you to do whatever the hell it is that you want to do. There are imps. So I think... I definitely am noticing that like my skills and everything have gone significantly down because I haven't played the game in longer than I should admit. I cannot switch weapon. For Again, stuck on invisible nothing. I really need to go pick up that damn power up. Come on, god damn it. Power of haste. I'll have to probably use a BFG in here, even if I like it or not. At one shot, just cleared out a large portion of larger demons. Nasty drop.
Oh, that was a horrible shot. That was horrible. Okay, I somehow survived. But that was definitely not my best performance. Are you trying to tell me I'm still alive and kicking? Whew! Damn! That was some cool shit! God damn it, this game is awesome. Okay, so, uh, in order for you to get the Predator Suit token, because our objective is to go up there, what we need to do is actually go onto the platform, initiate it, and then we... descend down here from the platform itself. Pick up the Predator Suit token. I should really look into using, actually, those damn Predator Suits. Uh, I think the only points which I have left now are the points for maybe the uh, health. That's why I'm not really that keen about like doing stuff with it, because if I go into it... Uh, dexterity, sure. Uh, quick hands, let's purchase that. So we have everything upgraded to the max. And, of course, uh, we would need points for the weapons, which we have as well. I just, I don't know, we can go and put it into the pistol, though I don't use it. You will have, eventually, the playthroughs and the, the builds and the preferences for which weapons you prefer, what you like to do more. And so there's no point for me to preach to you what to do. I mean, the game is awesome enough on its own for you to go through it multiple times. But we have one more data log. Once Vegas core is destroyed, the vacuum of energy will pull you back through to hell. We have your destination set to the well's location. Now use the crucible to power it down. access to the well without a fight but i'm sure that's what you're looking for isn't it and that will be the last mission so i'm gonna finish off what i started here i really do appreciate with you guys to be patient while i cover all these games and on the next one we will finish off june 2016 as this is definitely a game which is i believe a must play it is a game-changing experience. It has been an amazing journey to witness this, play through this the first time it came out. I had a blast, and I'm so glad I'm able to bring it to the channel itself. So let's go do what we need to do. And honestly, looking at the score, it looks evil as hell. And yeah, if you want to know what the channel is up to, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all and bye-bye for now. So that should be everything. I was even able to get the freaking challenges. Goddamn.